Today is Tuesday, August the 6th, 2019. I got two incoming packages, so we're going to go ahead and see what arrived. I guess we'll start with uh, the one on the right here. Just waiting. Uh, looks like it's going to start to rain, so I figured I'd get outside, get, get these done. This is a Marvel Legends uh, Speed Demon. I always find this to be a really good base figure for customs because uh, he's relatively skinny. So especially if you're gonna put clothes on him and, and bulk up the, um, the custom you're making. He's a really nice base. And I gotta have about 15 of these little cars now. Um, so the idea here um, is to redo my Rick Grimes custom so that he's uh, smaller, a little more in scale with Marvel Legends. Um, so what I want to do is harvest uh, usable parts off of this one, um, redo the pants, redo the shirt, and give him the classic um, suede jacket that Rick wears in the, uh, the comic and the early on in the TV show. Um, so again, this will be my base. I'll basically just have to paint the neck, um, maybe a bit of the forearms, find a better set of hands that would be uh, color matched with the skin tone. Um, but that is where I'm at with that. Next up. Our two uh, fodder pieces. That's weird, it does not stand good at all. Um, so as you can see, it's Tony Stark in a suit and Peter Parker in a suit. Um, really, I just wanted these for um, extra villains. So what I will do is replace the heads with just generic uh, quote unquote bad guy heads. And um, you, know, you can then uh, have Kingpin, have um, uh, whoever else you would want to have uh, Doc Ock, have some henchmen. Um, and these were, uh, I think, about $12 a piece on eBay. Um, so it's really an inexpensive, but you get what you pay for. Again, the head is, you know, is, is not on there very well at all. But again, for my purpose, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm going to get inside and beat the rain. I hope everybody has a great day, and I will catch you later. Bye. Keep watching for the next video. Come back soon. Bye.